What's going on everybody? This is Alex KGB and today we're going to talk about getting yourself enough ammunition. Now I know this guide might be somewhat for the new people because if you've been playing Fallout for a while, especially Fallout 4 and you're into crafting, all the information I'm going to tell you, you already know about it. But for the new people that struggled with getting ammunition, uh, I will tell you the best ways to actually Okay, you're, you're guys talking over me. So the first way to farm for your ammo. If you're lacking in lead, steel and aluminium, farming robots would be a good thing. I'm, I just started recording. Finally. Okay. So, as you saw, one of the methods if you're lacking materials to build ammo is go and farm robots. Robots are going to give you steel, aluminium and lead. And then you want to farm super mutants. A good place to farm super mutants is where they were born in Appalachia at the West Tech Research Center. Now, they will drop for you some uh, gunpowder. They're also going to cover most of the materials you need to farm the bullets. The, but the major problem for people that don't have enough ammo is actually you know they can't farm stuff they can't shoot stuff because they don't have enough ammo the other way is just to go around with your melee and keep on knocking them down which is an okay way but it's gonna take you quite some time to farm all the needed materials if you don't have enough time and you have a gun that is demanding and it eats through a lot of ammo like for example my gun right here I mean, I can spend hundreds and hundreds of bullets just farming, so I have to keep up with the supply. Now, you will need a couple of things. You would need travel agent, hard barge level 3, ammo smith, super duper. So that's the perk to create your ammo. If you don't want to farm super mutants because there are bullet sponges, you can craft the gunpowder. Now, for Crafting gunpowder, you don't really need much. Now, you can buy those, you can buy acid and glass, or you can just keep on running around the wasteland collecting it. Now, after you got your gunpowder, you just go to Tinker's workbench and you start crafting your bullets. Now, as I said, the hardest to get material for 45 rounds for the gun that I'm using would be lead. Um, but most of the bullets are using just lead and steel. Steel is easy. Scrapping the guns that you pick up is good enough. If you have the scrapper perk, uh, you can scrap guns and get even more steel out of it. Another good place to farm for guns is Blackwater Mine. I wouldn't go here if you're level 50 and you don't have glow sight because most likely the enemies that are gonna spawn are gonna be glowing and there was glow sight, it's really easy to take them down. <laughs> Pick up pretty much everything because all of it is gonna get scrapped anyway. Okay, we have the perk going, so we're gonna scrap all the junk first. Here are our weapons so 11 steel, 4 steel, 4 steel, steel fuel, 11 steel, 9 steel, 8 steel. So you get the idea. Scrapping guns will give you tons of steel, which is easy. Now the harder part is getting lead. Lead can be recovered from robots, but I say the easiest way is just to hop, server hop and go from vendor to vendor and buy lead in bulk. And this is exactly why to maximize the benefit of it, you want to have travel agent and hard bargain. Now, when you visit in vendors for the first time, they will have all 200 caps on them. If you, if you know, it was more than 24, hour, 24 hours since you visited them last time. So make sure to bring some stuff with you to sell. This way, you can cover your expenses on buying lead and stuff. I normally sell uh, glowing blood. Is uh, going pretty good. Glowing meat. Now, if you cook stuff, you can get even more. So if you go ahead and 
kill a bunch of glowing things or just regular wolves or whatever cook their meat and bring it to the vendor when you're trying to shop for materials to craft i even sell um dilute red x i'm selling sometimes super steam packs really the stuff that i have a bunch of now those ribs are in pretty good conditions they're not going out you soon but even and one eat. cooked meat will be like four stop. gold and, and then you go into dying. their junk and start buying what you need so i'm gonna buy both lead and i'll buy steel just to make sure that we have enough to craft and you can server hop a couple of times uh, the first thing i would visit the raiders they normally have a lot of the materials and meanwhile you add it you might want to even try and kill some things that's on your way okay we collected some additional crap so let's scrap it get rid of the weapons and get the steel going I think we had some peril no okay Previously owned Check the vendor's mostly junk. Mostly bulk lead. Free. I'm gonna get bulk steel as well. Now it is a little costly as you can see, but again, uh, just make sure you bring something to sell. Cooked food, glowing blood, ionized meat, whatever the vendor would buy for a good price, that's gonna make your life easier. When you're done server hoping and collecting the materials, just make sure to get back to your base. Okay, so now I'm back at the base and this was just filmed in one shot and edited. Uh, but I did not server hop, I just visited three vendors, bought some lead, bought some steel. I already crafted some gunpowder at the chemistry station. So what we have? We have travel agent, hard bargain, scrapper, ammo smith, super duper. Now those will be needed when you craft your ammo. And then just go ahead to the tinker's bench. Get in crafting mode. Now before I start, I just wanted to show you this. I have 2040 45s. And actually this gun does go through... Uh, the bullets pretty quickly. I, will, I also want to fix it. Okay, so we have 2,040 bullets. Let's go ahead and start getting our bullets going. Killing is good, but trading is better, easier. Okay. You can see that the super duper actually triggered. And we have a Gram walking around. How convenient. This for that. That for this. Okay. I think I'm gonna buy the bloody Tesla rifle. Someone wants to buy it back from me, you can get it. <laughs> we started just with one server, three vendors. We were able to craft 675 bullets. I think you can easily craft thousands or thousand ammo in a day with this method. I know if you've been playing for a while, it's not really guide for you. It's pretty obvious how to do that. But if you're brand new, I think that's gonna be helpful. And if you're struggling with ammo, uh, there are ways you can get it. You can buy ammo directly from the marketplace on Reddit. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. You can go and farm for materials. Uh, makes sense if you're using melee also with uh, the rifles so you don't spend ammo by getting materials for ammo or you can just go hop around the server go around from vendor to vendor buy lead steel craft gunpowder and make bullets yourself but make sure that you do get the perks first so travel agent hard bargain scrapper ammo smith super duper Okay, this was Alex KGB. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and bye bye.
Give me your stuff. 